Hello, in this video, we will see the percent of function and how it has simplified the calculation of percentages in Excel. We're going to look at some typical examples and finish with a couple of cool group by pivot by function examples. So we've got a few to get through, let's dive in. Let's start off by calculating the percentage a number is of another number. And a typical scenario to do that is when calculating the percentage of total. So in this data right here, I have a total in cell B2, and I want to calculate the percentage units sold for each region. So adding a column to this table here, I can use the new percent of function, and that will prompt me for the data subset, so the part, and then the data all, the whole. So the subsets will be the unit sold for France, and as I put in the comma, the data all will be B2. Now I'll need to stick a dollar sign before that too, to make that row reference absolute, but apart from that, very simple calculation, and we've got our percentage. It's then a case of turning it into the percent format, therefore multiplying it by 100, and I can use the button on the home tab, maybe add in a decimal to do that. So the percent of function has simplified it for everybody, whether you're familiar with percentage calculations or not, we can all benefit. And I think another really good example of that is a percentage change. Really, really common to do, like this last month and this month variance, shown as a percentage. And you can see here by using the percent of function and using the calculation to find the value difference between those two months before then using that against the whole, which in this case is last month's value, has been simplified by percent of because without percent of, users would need to know to put that value difference within brackets. And that can be an obstacle for formula beginners. So again, percent of function, a lovely addition for everybody. Let's now move on to a couple of sexier examples. And I've got this data here, TBL refunds is the name of this table. And you can see we've got columns such as refund amount, agent, and region. Now we're going to see a couple of formulas here, and these are going to use the group by and pivot by functions. These two functions are recent additions to Excel 365 and are a big driving force behind the introduction of this percent of function. And these two functions provide alternatives to the use of pivot tables. Now this is not a lesson on group by and pivot by, or that will be a nice insight to those who may be new to them. Here, we wanna focus on percent of. But in this first example, I want to summarize the data by region. I want to know the percentage contribution of those total refund amounts for each region. So with group by, I can provide a row field, and for that it will be TBL refunds and the region column. And then it will ask me for the values, and that is going to be TBL refunds, and that is going to be the refund amount column. And as I put in a comma, it's now requesting the function to use. And you can see the second one, among some really good functions, is percent of. Now I'm not going to go through the other arguments in this function because this is not a group by tutorial, that is for another time. But this is a really awesome function. And as I press enter, we have the percentages of the total. So an alternative to using a pivot table to get that result, and percent of is one of the built-in function options. So that's group by, but let's imagine I have a pivot by example. So there's another function called pivot by, and for the row fields, I want to choose a couple of columns from the TBL refunds data. So I'm going to use the choose coals function, on TBL refunds, and I'm going to ask it for columns five and four. 
Now those columns are the region and the sales rep columns. I'm going to bypass this column fields argument, so I'm onto the values. That is going to be the refund amount, like the previous example. And then we're onto the function of which I'm going to choose percent of. But let's look at this function and how it operates at the moment. Because if I press enter, I'm getting a percentage of grand total there for each combination of region and sales rep. But coming back to that formula, what I want to do is add in some subtotals. I want to group each region here. So on the end of percent of, if I put in a comma, in fact, I'll put in two to bypass the field headers argument, and I'll choose option two for subtotals. Now what we see is that we are still getting that percent of the grand total. So it looks great for Belfast here, 16.8% is the refund contribution of Belfast to the grand total. But you can see that each sales rep percent is also part of that grand total. The 12.6 and the 4.2 add up to 16.8. But maybe I want to see the sales rep percent as a percentage of that subtotal. So pretty cool here with Pivot Buyer, we have an extra option which is tailored beautifully for the percent of function. And if I come into this function, and I'm going to have to put in a few commas here to bypass these arguments. So it is quite an advanced function. But if I can get all the way across to this relative to argument, I'm going to choose the option for the parent row total, option four. Because if I choose that option, we can now see that we've customized our pivot buyer and its use of percent of to be the percentage of its parent row. So the percentage for Julia Bird and Nicole Jenkins there are adding up to that Belfast subtotal, whilst the Belfast percentage is still part of the grand total whole. So finishing with a couple of more exciting examples there, for those of you who are more advanced Excel users, group by and pivot by, but overall the percent of function is just a nice addition to simplify the calculation of percentages, which are so, so common to do in Excel, and is also such a common request that I get in my training courses and the tutorials that I offer. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to receive the latest videos at this channel. Take care, see you again soon.